Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambitotronics. So as we have started ESP IDF uh, based series, so here again we are coming up with one more tutorial. So here in this tutorial what I will tell you, I will tell you about how we can run different, uh, how we can task, run uh, tasks in different cores. Basically ESP32 double room chip has two cores. So why, sh why shouldn't we utilize both the cores uh, when we are running the tasks? So uh, previously when I, I used to tell you, I, I just, uh, I, I think I had made one video, video on that uh, we were running two tasks on that we didn't define any uh, course on that. So here in actual scenario we will run parallel tasks uh, at the same time because we are running, uh, we are uh, running those tasks in two different cores. So okay, let's get started. So this is the project I have created ESP32 multiple cores tasks. So here if I just click on main.c, uh, here is our project and here we have these two tasks. If I'll just uh, zoom in, uh, here you can see uh, in app main we have x task create. Uh, one more thing guys, I want to tell you here uh, our API would be a little different. Uh, uh, just uh, in, the, in the last video we had x task create only in this case we have x task create pin to core so for that uh, if you want to know more about this api you can just go to espressif uh, documentation and there uh, let me just go to uh, google i think i have i had opened that page so here you can see so uh, this is esp idea free rtos applications and here this is the function name x task create pin to core previously i had told you uh, about this function this is x task create only so here we have the we have six arguments total and uh, now we have one more arguments in x task create pin to core that is nothing but x core id so pv task code is same similar to x task create pc name a uh, descriptive name same again just like x task create us stack depth uh, how many uh, bytes uh, memory you want to allocate to uh, put for to that particular task and pv parameters pointer that will be used as a parameter for the task and uh, then priority and uh, then your handler uh, so pv created task so the last one is only changed basically added and uh, that is nothing but x core id so this is the core core, core 0 or core 1 because we have two cores and those the values of those cores are either either of 0 or 1 so uh, here are the same thing i had done uh, x task create pin to core and then our task function x core for task 1 code for task 1 core and then our descriptive name and then the memory and uh, this is null and this is the priority we have given to and this is again null handler is null and core value is 0 and for second for uh, x task create pin to core we have the function name is again different core 1 and uh, uh, size we had we have give, taken same and uh, the last x co that core value is 1 so if I will run this, uh, we will see uh, uh, one by one it will print this and then uh, this uh, task. So okay, uh, just uh, build this function, build this code. Uh, let me just connect uh, by the time my ESP32, it's connected now. So now if I will just launch that. So here you go, uh, it's uploaded, it's uploading actually. Okay, so let me open my doc light and let me show you. Core for task 1 is running on core, core for task 2 is running on core. So, so this way we are running uh, these tasks in two different cores, X core for task 1 is running in one particular core which is 0 and core for task, code for task 2 is running in another core which is uh, 1. So how will we make sure whether it is running or 0 or 1? We have written definitely in APIs but we have one more APIs so that we can uh, definitely make sure that uh, these are running, uh, these tasks are running on that particular core. So what will we do? We will just uh, uh, write one line of, of code here 
uh, here uh, I'll just uh, print that statement printf and then percentage d slash n so that it will go to new line and then comma and then export export get core id yeah this is the function so export get core id will give you will return the core value in which that particular that particular task is running uh, so same thing we will just copy here and uh, from here we will remove the slash and part delay we can give 2000 for this and 2000 same for this okay now i think everything looks good so here you go uh, we will just uh, uh, disable this uh, clear the screen and uh, i'll just upload this to our esp32 so so yeah uh, so here you go So uh, it's uploaded successfully. Now we can check it uh, out whether uh, uh, we are running uh, our code uh, in, in a correct manner means like our message should be code for task 1 is running on core 0 and for this uh, function code for task 2 is running on core 1. So let's see. Yeah, we are getting the message core code for task 1 is running uh, on core 0, code for task 2 is running on core 1 and same way process is repeating. So this way uh, guys you can run actually two different cores uh, for two different tasks. Uh, in, in actual scenario you are uh, basically uh, using two different tasks at, at the same time because you are using two different C cores of CPUs. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any doubt regarding this just uh, feel free to comment us below as you, uh, uh, you are, if you are following our two ASP IDF tutorials just please give, give it a thumbs up so that it will motivate me to make uh, more videos like that. Thank you guys, thank you very much.